So, test number two, I would say. Test number one was exactly what I wanted to do, work some of the bugs out. Remember, I had to move the shaft from this side, where this little heater is, to this side, so I can get a little uh, lower engine speed, higher RPM on that shaft to build enough pressure to make everything work the way it's supposed to work. This is rock solid. This is the new shaft that I had my friend Gary make for me. Uh, he's a machinist and retired and has forgotten more about metal than most people have ever remembered. So when I need something machine, fairly precision, he's my go-to guy. Exhaust is fairly quiet. It keeps, it's much cooler now with this, uh, with this uh, auxiliary heater. I know it sounds like an oxymoron to put a heater on to keep your engine cool, but it's just like a little radiator in there. So this fan now, the cooling fan on the engine, comes on and off like it's supposed to. It uh, comes on at 80, uh, at 80, at 92 and goes off at 87, I think is what I measured it. I have made for a gun on it. The engine never gets above about 95 degrees Celsius, so there's nothing wrong with that. So I've got a leak here from the injection pump between the head and the body of the injection pump. And I'm just it's just from drive from sitting. You can see a little puddle of diesel fuel in there sitting, so I'll get that. I've got lots of core injection pumps. I'll send one to uh, my friend Giles. He'll rebuild it and send it back to me. But I'm going to run it the way it is now. It starts, runs. You'd never know anything was wrong with it. I have a problem with this tachometer. My uh, Amazon tachometer reads about twice as fast as I think it should. But I'm going to learn to live with it. And my governor right now is a pair of ice grips. So let's start this up. And I'm going to run a log through it. Well, the log slabs, actually. You can see over here I've got a pile of slab wood. I just called my neighbor to come. He's got some free slab wood cut and split. <laughs> He's got to come with his tractor and his trailer. And, and uh, we went there for supper yesterday. So maybe I'll, I'll gift him some wood. It's easy for me to do. So, all right, let's cut a slab and we'll see if you can see how, how well this works or not.
And that's all there is to that. Pretty fast. We gotta go find our dog. So I'm thrilled at the way this is working. It's got a cleaner set of grizzly bars at the bottom. So I milled some blocks to fit on the bottom of this when I get it on that new platform up overhead there. When I say overhead, I mean up into the wood lot. So these blocks here are gonna go under the feet, raise it up a few inches, just so I can much easier clean it out because there's gonna be a lot of debris. Now slab wood makes more debris than regular hardwood. But I like the way that the conveyor hinges side to side. And I sure like the way that this one-handed operation, I can do everything I need with this. Can uh, touch the, the control to split, that which just, you just touch this forward to split. This activates the saw. And as soon as you let go of that, the saw returns back up. Um, every time you open, every time you open the door, there's a switch that stops everything. So it's fairly safe and you have to hit this green button here. Let me turn that around so you can see. So when you open the door, it resets everything. You have to press this button in order to reset it. These two buttons here, raise and lower the knife. This button here is the abort. This red button is the abort mission button. This is my speed controller for the output, output feed. This is my control left and right for the conveyor. And this will be for the log, uh, log deck. That's the emergency stop button right there. So test number one, I made this amount of wood in about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe third of a cord probably something like that so and I just called my neighbor he's gonna come get that I'll make some more but I think that test passes flying colors the little heater that I put on to keep the engine cool that helped incredibly um, got about two and a half hours on it all together running and testing so I think I'm ready to have it moved up to the top of the hill to the, to the wood. I feel like I'm fighting an ongoing battle with this between the weather it's really been may since i've made firewood any significant amount we went into that uh drought if you remember and they closed the woods down and it really was too hot to work we had wildfires everywhere and we were in a state of emergency for a while and and then uh about well, somewhere around the middle of june it started to rain and it hasn't stopped yesterday was the first day that it didn't rain all day now the whole forecast right now is calling for sunny weather so i'm just thrilled but yesterday's monsoon here and i using that term literally we washed the bridge out on my road so we can't get any trucks in or out they have one at the other end of the road um, an emergency access to the trans canada highway which is supposed to be for emergency purposes only um, but i'm going to head out to church this morning on it and if they stop me they stop me i'm not going to worry too much about it but i figure if folks on our road can go out for cigarettes and Tim Hortons coffee that constitutes as an emergency I think I can get away with going to church so plus we took a grocery list of a few of our neighbors so that we can get uh, some milk and odds and ends for people that wouldn't have any other way out I'll take my big truck out over the road it's it's a pretty rough bumpy old road so I don't want to I wouldn't take my car on it but anyway so I'd say we passed our test the I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet. Tajfoon or Typhoon RCA 400 passed its test with flying colors. That's it, everybody. Over and out.